Hello everybody, let's go ahead and solve a practice problem from the conservation of mass or continuity principle. Okay, so here's what the question reads. I have a basically a water stream over here. I'm looking at the top view and they are separated into two branches as, as here, right? The areas and the average velocities are supplied to me except that this V2 is missing. And the question is asking me, what is this V2? And these options are right over here. One thing to note before I forget is I've seen cases where the student makes a command, hey, this is 2, this is 2.2, so this number needs to be in between those, those two, you know, limited by that so they can pick B. That's not quite right, all right? So I heard that uh, personally from students. The other thing that I heard from students is that um, as this area is smaller than this, it needs to be larger right so you know I can t throw out a um, that that logic is only applicable if I have one net one exit all right so it's hard to make that uh, connection I just want to let you know that using your intuition may hurt you all right so this kind of an easy question go ahead and calculate properly please all right okay one thing to highlight is if you look at the FE reference manual the formula in order to analyze this is not there a fee manual only lists you one exit, one inlet cases. If I didn't have this branch, you know, like one, like a, let's say, a bend, 45 degree bend, you have the formula. So you need to be careful over here. When I reviewed these concepts in 3.1, I added the formula for you, right? And here's what the formula looks like. So basically, instead of having one inlet, one outlet, so I'm having this m dot at the inlet, I'm just summing over whatever I have in terms of my inlets and exits. So I'm like grouping them together, all right? And I'm, uh, you know, I can mention this. I have seen real exa FE exam question in this kind of manner where there's multiple inlets or multiple exits, okay? So you still are responsible from this. Please be careful, okay? As you know, this M dot was rho VA, right? Also, we discussed this if this is constant density, and this is a good assumption for water, incompressible, right? So I will be able to get rid of the density terms. As this is constant density or incompressible, right? I'm using those interchangeably for this FE exam purposes. I can simply go ahead and write this, okay? Q exit. Okay, so also Q, just for the reference, is basically VA. You can see that I dropped out the density over here, right? So that is missing over there, just not, okay? I only have one inlet, so it's going to be V1A1, and the exits are going to be, there are two of them, you can see over here, one branch, one branch, right, two of them. So I'm going to have V2A2 plus V3A3. Um, v, then I just simply insert the numbers. This is 2 meter per, per second, V1. A1 is 1.2 meter square. It will be equal to V2 is what I'm being asked to find. A2 is 0 0.4 meter square plus, let's go up, I forgot, 0 0.6, 2.2. So it's going to be 2.2 meter per second times 0 0.6 meter square, right? So now what I need to do is I punch this into my calculator, right? Specific uh, calculator that you can you are allowed to bring into the FE. Um, and I will be able to get myself V2 as 2.7 meter per second. Okay, so then if I go up over here, bam, C is the right answer. Okay, so I think this illustrates how to use the conservation of mass or continuity equation. I will be back with more complex questions. Thank you for watching this video.